Ocrevus is a medication that we would consider a second generation type of medication um, it, that grew out of the use of an initial medication called rituximab or rituxan. There was an initial small trial with rituxan that was reported in the New England Journal of Medicine years ago showing success in relapsing remitting MS. And um, out of that grew the theory that B cells um, uh, were actually quite important to the MS disease process. B cells are a type of white blood cell in the body, um, which were initially not thought to be involved in the MS disease process. But now through the use of these medications, we've really come to realize their importance. Ocrevus was studied in uh, three trials total that were pivotal trials that led to its FDA approval. Um, two large-scale trials in relapsing remitting MS and one large trial in primary progressive MS. And all three trials showed uh, the medication to be effective, safe, and generally really well tolerated. So how does it work? Well, Ocrevus is what's called a monoclonal antibody. So this is a protein medication that's given by infusion. And it's a humanized monoclonal antibody. So this is where it becomes a second generation medication that's really made as human-like as possible. Uh, this is a protein that binds to a unique protein on the surface of one particular type of blood cell called the B lymphocytes or B cells. And you can see in this slide that there are multiple types of white blood cells in the body and the B lymphocyte is one subtype. What happens is when the drug binds to the cells, it depletes or causes the death of those B cells. And B cell depletion happens rapidly and it lasts for between 6 and 12 months after a dose of the medication. Now what's unique about this medication and uh, part of what contributes to its safety is that it only depletes certain uh, types of white blood cells. So if you can picture a B cell growing up from a stem cell, how it started, all the way up through its kind of final adult form, which is called a plasma cell. Um, Ocrevus is a medication which only depletes a certain number of these uh, uh, cell types along the lineage or along its life cycle. So the two first uh, cell types, uh, the stem cell and the pro B cell are preserved and this allows the body uh, the possibility of repopulating the B cells uh, all throughout. And you can also see at the end of the lineage uh, the short-lived plasma cell and the long-lived plasma cells. These are the cells that are still remaining in the body even after a patient's received Ocrevus and this preserves the long-term immune memory that helps us to fight off certain infections in the body. So we've established that Ocrevus is a medication that works by depleting B cells in the body, but how might that work against MS? Well, um, B cells are thought to be involved in the MS process um, in a few different ways. One is that um, they do, in their plasma cell form, uh, make antibodies which can be auto-reactive against the brain and spinal cord and optic nerves. And those antibodies would thought to be minimized after somebody has received Ocrevus. Secondly, um, B cells actually communicate with other immune cells, including T cells, dendritic cells, and macrophages to sort of um, uh, communicate that these cells need to fight against invaders or potentially against the brain and spinal cord in patients with MS. And so this signaling, either by cytokines, as you see here with number two, or um, uh, through direct activation um, uh, by direct signaling, uh, reduces this signaling back and forth between the different immune cell types. Fourth, it's thought that B cells may collect in what are called follicles around the linings of the brain and spinal cord, and Ocrevus may limit this pathway as well. So studied in two trials of relapsing remitting MS, Ocrevus was studied against an active comparator, that is it was compared against one of our standard therapies for MS um, called interferon beta 1a subcutaneous. And when compared to that active comparator, there uh, was a 46 or 47 percent reduction in one of our primary ways that we measure disease activity in MS, and that's um, the number of relapses that a patient has over the course of two years. And uh, that's a significant reduction considering the fact that this was compared against one of our standard therapies not against a placebo. So doing almost 50% better than one of our standard therapies in terms of preventing relapses. Another outcome that was measured from the clinical trials in relapsing or remitting MS is something we called no evidence of disease activity. And that measures the percentage of patients who have no relapses, no disability progression, and no new MRI lesions during the trial. And Ocrevus was associated with a 75% improvement in the uh, number of patients who met the no evidence of disease activity criterion. Um, and again, this is compared to an active comparator, one of our standard medications for MS. So uh, this is a very encouraging uh, indicator of 
um, efficacy for the medication. What's unique about Ocrevus is that it was also tested in primary progressive MS. Previously, we've had no available treatments for primary progressive MS. And uh, what was very encouraging to us is that Ocrevus did have an effect on um, slowing disability progression when tested in more than 700 patients with primary progressive MS. The magnitude of the effect was modest overall, so this was not a cure for primary progressive MS, but we do think that from interpreting the results of this trial, we have some indicators that may be able to tell us who would be perhaps a better candidate for this medication than others or who might be more likely to benefit from the medication with primary progressive MS.